Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! Let's go for a Delta attack here. Now this one's going to be a little tricky compared to what we've met up with so far. So, let's see. I want to put... Well, first got to decide on Mustadio, because he's one of the most important guys. Maybe put you there. Do I have enough jump for you? Hmm, that could be a problem. Do you have enough jump? Okay. I would like characters who have a jump of four as much as possible. Hmm. Yeah, this could be a problem with this battle. But, uh, I think you're okay there too, right? Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, this one having more jump is better than less. Hmm, maybe I should have moved Ramza up. Eh, whatever. Not like it's a really big deal, but, uh... It would be nice. Because uh, the reason you need jump in this battle is because there's, well, gaps in the area that you have to jump over. And for every, remember what I said, for every two jump you have, you can jump over one gap in, well, the road or wherever you are. So I'll show you what the place looks like once I get uh, Otaku's turn up there. But first things first. Yeah, you see there's gaps here. There's another way that you can see what's going on around here, and, well, I'll let you know when I get to that. Let's see, if I go there... Yeah, let's go here. I might be able to get a jump off quickly enough. Well, I definitely can't hit you. Let's give you a try. Why not? Overkill much? Let's find out. Let's see. Let's try and stay out of harm's way here. can't hit two at once, I don't think. Oh, well, I could have done that, but, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, never mind. These guys aren't going to be too much of an issue, I don't think. I don't think any of them are, uh, mind flares, so we don't have to worry about that, that one move that I... I did show you that one, right, where you get berserked or confused or something or other like that. Whoa! Yeah, you can see the little flashing there. You can see the uh, what the place kind of looked like. Okay, now here, let's see. One, two. Yeah, I think that's the one I want. Ha! There we go. We get an elixir. All right. Not bad. Not that I'm ever going to use it because it's part of the Too Good to Use Club, but you take what you can get. Let's see. Hmm, maybe I could have had him uh, check out a potential exit tile. Prana, there, he could have. He's like almost right next to it, if he's not right on it. I like speed save on Krona when I have him in my Dragoon setup, because that helps speed up the amount of time it takes to, well, jump. So, he can dance faster to the, to the song. Now, uh, Pisco Demons, not really worried about there. Now, you see here, okay, here's what the place looks like. Yeah, you see, there's all these gaps here that you can't walk or walk onto. So you got to be able to well, jump around. So can I make it over there? No. Hmm. Well, let's try that. Well, you're headed in the right direction, at least. Hmm. Well, haste yourself. I only brought Otaku instead of Orlando because she can. Uh, what is it? Because she can teleport. So, did I not get shot? I thought I got it. Oh, right, that was on my other file. Okay, well, I know I have the, uh, the JP for it. But yeah, this file was made before I, uh, did the final battle, so that was when I learned shock at the time. But, oh well. Now, there's no real major items that I'm particularly concerned about for this battle. I'm just going to go for whatever I can. And if it works out, great. If not, well, I'm not going to fret over it. Let's see now. Okay, that's where we started. Okay, this was a tile that could have been an exit, but, well, that didn't work out. So, oh well. See, I'm just trying to look at what I've got here. Let's see, I think that's a potential exit tile. Yeah, yeah, that's one. Hey, hey, all right, looks like I got it. Well, that was easy. I am getting really, really lucky with these exit tiles. I usually have a much harder time finding all of them. 
I, I mean, I'm getting them like on my first or second try. Wow, you see how much speed save helped with that? Okay. Well, just get as far as we... Whoa! Yeah, you see how far he jumped? He jumped over two uh, gaps in the road there. So, that kind of helped us out a little bit. Can I shoot you? No. no I can't. Oh, well. Do what we can. I think they're weak to thunder. Um, i trying to remember what the thunder gun is. There is a thunder gun. Right? Now well, I forget. Let's see, this could have been an exit tile, but that never happened, so... Maybe I can get... Oh, four? Or not? Okay. Maybe I can... Oh. Hmm. Nuts. Okay, uh... Well, I can get haste on Krona there, so... My favorite combo in the game. Haste doesn't, uh, influence how fast you can jump on an enemy. It just simply lets you get your turn faster, so that way you might be able to get it in faster. But chances are, probably not. Oh, I, I didn't take a look at that tile there on my map there. I was worried that might, might have been a trap or something. Whee! Oh, I love one-shotting all my enemies. And I already found the exit, so all I gotta do is just kill these guys. Let's see, some other treasures you can find here. There's a Yoichibo and a Mace of Zeus. So, two of the better of those kinds of equipment in the game. So, if you cared, you could use those. I'm not gonna, but you could if you want. And if I cared, I would be using Chicken on Mustadio there to increase the odds of finding those rare items, but so far, nah. Yeah, I, I, I'm not even looking where I'm going. Well, anyway, since I'm finishing these battles so quickly, uh, the way that you can also light up this area is if one of the enemies uh, turns into a crystal, then you can... What do I do now? Yeah, let's go. No, 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 not there. Uh, if an enemy turns into a crystal, it'll kind of light up the area. So, otherwise, the only way you can really see it, it where everything is, is with teleport or casting a spell or something that somehow briefly lights up the area. Kind of like the ether spell in A Link to the Past. Wow, this is going enormously better than I thought it would. We have time for another battle. Yeah, just keep on uh, dancing in place there, Krona, for my entertainment. But anyway, this one... Yeah, this one I think I'm going to want to bring in Orlando instead of Otaku. So, we'll mix it up a little bit. The Valkyrie. Viola? No. No, that's another game. We'll, we'll get there soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. But, uh, first things first. Let's bring in... Well, obviously we want the Stadio. Too bad he doesn't have better movement, but I don't think there's much that I can do with move five. I mean, is that the best he can do? A movement of four? I don't know. I never, I, well, I mean, I did a little bit with move find ability, but I never really went that in depth with it. I mean, as far as I was concerned, it was like, why bother? Bring in my high DPS squad, my killing squad, if it were. I was expecting this to take me literally like two weeks to get through this place because usually when I go through the deep dungeon, it usually takes me at least 10 or 12 minutes to find the exit. Whoa, holy crap, marbles! Well, it might be them, I don't know. Oh, and I don't have my teleporter so I can't show you what the place looks like. Well, it's kind of a zigzag pattern like the first one except more spread out. So, you'll see. Soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. That might work. I'm not sure if Holy Sword will uh, hit them from all the way over here. Nuts. Yeah, I can't hit them. Oh, yes I can! Ha ha! There's a gap between Orlando and the Marlboros. So, would that thing kill them? Oh, well, I'm going to have to try something else. Let's see, I want to be eight away from that guy. There we go. That ought to do. 
Nothing interesting on this side yet. Yeah, that ought to do. As long as it's like below 70, I think that works pretty well for, at least with the speed that I have. Uh, for most characters though, I'd probably say you wanna want their uh, CT, that is, uh, to be below 70. But for most of the time, usually, yeah, might as well use Scream. But yeah, for most enemies, if their CT is below 50, your jump should work, like if you're using an actual Lancer. But yeah, there's Scream. I suppose I should have been using it this whole time, huh? But, oh well. Ha! I would imagine these guys can inflict a lot of status ailments, but uh, I don't know. I've never tried that before. Probably can't drain him from all the way over here. No, won't work. What about don't act? No, nope, that's single target only. Oh, well. Oh, and I keep on forgetting to teach him shock. Well, I'll do that sooner or later. Oh, they call it Morble. I'm sorry. Uh, only a slight different translation from how they translated it in Final Fantasy IV, apparently. Holy cow, there's a lot of these guys. <laughs> all the exits, unfortunately, in this one, or almost all of them, are on the far side of the area, so we have no choice. We're going to have to go all the way through them. What is the height tolerance of Holy Explosion? That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, it's a vertical of two, and they're all three below me. So, not a whole lot I can do. Well, at least I got auto hits. Maybe I should be using, like, I don't know, Masamune or something? That might be helpful. There we go. Just counting in my head, viewers. I would imagine they can use bad breath on you, but I don't know. I'm going to uh, kill them too quickly. Okay, now let's see. From here... Okay, so we can't go down there. I'm trying to figure out where this one tile is. I think that's it? Ha! Okay, well, that wasn't that good. Uh, it could have had an elixir, but... Well, I did, my brave was too high, so... Oh, well. Take what you can get. Good thing I've got Mustadio for uh, remedies if that comes up. Let's see, if I do that, I should be able to use my Masamune. If I break it, well, so be it. I'm not gonna restart or reload after two battles like this. It's not like I use that often anyway. Hey, hey, all right. Well, I've been pretty lucky with that. Well, it did break that one time, but that was on my old file that I didn't really care much about. Just trying to see, how many of these guys can I kill? Well, goodbye, Orlando. You're probably going to get hit with bad breath, but your sacrifice will not be in vain. How much HP do these guys have? What level are they at, anyway? I heard you can... Whoa! Their levels are getting pretty high. A lot higher than what I've got. But yeah, I heard that there's some really high enemies that you can run into, like high-level ninjas, possibly, that can uh, throw some really ultra-rare weapons. Some things that you normally can only uh, you get with move find or whatnot. Now remember, you don't want to kill all of these guys, because we still need to find the exit, and that could take a little while. I'll probably have Krona do that next time. NEXT TIME! No, no, just ordinary. Uh, let's see. No treasures here. All the treasures in this area are really kind of in one nice little tight area. So, uh, mobile, mobiles are weak to ice. So my uh, gun, or my blaze gun, which is not fire, uh, my blaze gun is actually pretty useful here. Hey, I wonder if I could actually use Ultima. Can that kill him? Hey, why not? Put it to some use for a change. Let's see now. I think that's a potential exit tile. Can I? Oh. Well, it might be, but we're not going to find out. Okay, never mind. I'm delusional, viewers. Uh, pay no attention to me. I'm 
just a doddering old fool. Well, Holy Explosion now finally works. Whoa! Look at that damage! Holy cow. Remember, don't... Remember, H.C. Bailey, don't kill them all. Um, can I kill that guy? Hmm. Oh, right, I'm using ultimate to kill him. Uh, let's see, I think that's the one. But, there's nothing there. Okay, never mind. I need you to, uh, stop that guy if you can. There we go. Don't break him, just... I wonder if chicken would work. Well, he might go to the exit tile, though. Yeah, chicken wouldn't work that much anyway. Hmm. I'd be worried about him stepping onto the exit tile. How far is he away from where they could be? Yeah, he's pretty close to them. I don't want him to step on it. So, you know what? I'm going to uh, wait on that. I can always don't act on him later. Let's get that mobile out of the way there. Let's see, there's some treasures that we can get in the area where Kona is. There's quite a few of them, actually. But, well, I gotta get Mustadio in range first. Maybe if I use leg aim, that might work. Yeah, that could work. Then I know he won't uh, be anywhere that I, that I care about. See, no, that I think that's a. Let's get a little closer. I think one of those tiles that I could have moved on to might have been one of those trap tiles. Why can't I move anywhere? Hmm. Well, I don't think this one is. Okay, there we go. Where are those exits? Oh, there they are. Okay. Okay, so if I go there, that might be it. Ha ha! There we go. Found it. Wow, this map is pretty accurate. Well, Mustadio, you have a time limit. If you can't get it in time, too bad. Yeah, another nice combination you could do is if you're not fast enough to jump an enemy, just use don't move on them and they won't be able to move out of the way. Okay, well anyway, the other items that you could find here are a faith rod that gives you the faith status and uh, let's see, there's a fairy harp that I don't know what that does. Uh, there's also a Kaiser plate, which I would imagine is a pretty good piece of armor. Usually I don't go for that stuff, though, so I'm not as familiar with it, because I know there's either better stuff, or I just don't think this stuff is really worth that much. But can I defeat... What is this next one? But... Oh, there it is. I was like, where'd it go? I didn't find it? No, no. It's, a. Uh... Malapam, or also known as Napalm Man, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!